Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Zainab Bora and today I have with me uh, Dr. Musadik Dar who has cleared this year's FMG with an amazing score of 202. Congratulations. Uh, how are you feeling? Um, it's, it's beyond words. Can't amazing. explain actually. Amazing. Tell us about your journey, you know, where did you do your MBBS from? How was that like? And, you know, when did you really start preparing for this exam? So basically, I uh, did my MBBS from uh, Bangladesh, Holy Family Red Crescent Medical College. Mm -hmm. And this was my uh, first attempt. I uh, started, basically, I can't say it was an oriented preparation for FMG, but yeah, I used to watch the video lectures from my uh, second year, third year. Not that uh, point to point, cover to cover, but yeah, I just tried to just do as much I could. Yeah. And then after once my final year was done, I I started uh, my internship there mm -hmm. in Bangladesh only, but uh, I was not able to keep good touch with the studies. So I decided to take a leave for the preparation. So from 15th of April, I took the leave and then exam luckily got further postponed by three weeks. So that was a bonus. And I just uh, decided to go with BTR. I was trying to do rapid revisions, other things, but it seemed too much at that point. So I was like, let's not experiment at this point. Let's just do something which has been tested. And, and So you have just... three months time to prepare, if I'm not wrong. Yes, three, three and a half months. Okay. Yeah, I was trying to uh, study, but it Properly, I studied from uh, started from fifteenth uh, of April when I took the off because with duty and uh, basically Ram Ramadan was going on, so fasting yes. made it a bit uh, difficult for me to stay in touch with studies. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I was not neither able to study well nor I was able to do the duties. So I then decided oh, it's better to clear the exam and maybe get a chance to do internship at home. Yeah, amazing. So tell me, how did you use, like you watched the videos, how many times, what what was your process for the three months that you studied? Yeah, so I basically, I went to the Telegram group, you had that, uh, that schedule there. So I just uh, tried to calculate, uh, I mean, I started with the integrated uh, videos and uh, thankfully I was uh, good at physio and other things. It didn't work. It, I mean, I was not overwhelmed with the videos. At some, uh, I mean, at some points it was overwhelming, but uh, ma majority of the portion, it felt, it felt, it felt good. Hmm. So, uh, and uh, once I was done with the system, I used to uh, go to the PYQ questions or a custom module. I will select the systems from all four subjects, patho, uh, pharma, physio, and uh, medicine, and see how it is going. And it, it used to be good, like uh, sometimes 70%, sometimes 65%, sometimes 80%. Like in, I, but I, the sole purpose was uh, to just see, am I skipping anything? It was not to assess, am I doing well or not? It was just to basically, I was already studying from an ultra-precise, ultra-concise source. So I just wanted to add something relevant from PYQs only, not anything and everything. So the custom so, modules would be from previous year questions? Yeah, it was from previous year questions, including NEAT. I okay. in NEAT and INI set. I, the tags, I used to select the tags, FMG and INI set. Okay. So likewise, I tried to proceed with the subjects and I, I I would be lying if I say I completed whole of the BTR. I I tried to do the major subject systems, short subjects, um, left some, but mm -hmm. uh, somehow was lucky enough <laughs> to to get get this score. Amazing, great. So I guess you would have been a great student in MBBS. You know. Yeah, I mean, if if you can understand BTR when you watch it the first time, that's a sign that you've done your MBBS well, and then and you've reached BTR at a point where you've you know at least yes, seen yes. something about everything. So so I think that also reflects in your score that you had your basics and your concepts clear, and then just you layered them very rapidly with some facts which were important and relevant. Yes, yes. I, I basically, uh, my uh, physio patho, it was on a stronger side. Pharma as well. I had studied with from uh, Gobind sir uh, back back in, uh, I mean, I was in second year. That time, uh, Cerebellum was not in. Yeah. But I studied it from uh, Gobind sir. He had a separate app for the, yeah. so he, he made it a bit interesting. <laughs> and... Uh, 
then i just i just tried to uh, i mean uh, my only approach during my mbbs was that if i am learning something it should not be like i have to do the same efforts again it should be done for once and all not like today i'm doing putting some efforts after two years three years i have to go back again facts that's understood facts can't be remembered however i just tried to stick to the concepts that that made it bit easier for me to to grasp btr Yeah. And I think those are the most high impact subjects. Physio and Path, if you do these two well, that lays the foundation for, I think, half of FMG exam anyways, you know. Yes, So yes. I, I think that's a good advice to all of the juniors that master these two subjects well, then medicine in itself gets Yeah, better. medicine is in itself. Like you yourself teach it uh, that way only, that you cover the patho, physio, pharma aspect and that integrated it is a medicine at the end. So, I mean, um, uh, first advice I got was that skip medicine. Then, <laughs> then uh, when I just uh, covered these integrated systems and I, want, I went to the modules and I saw it. I mean, the score was good. It used to be 60, 70 percent. I won't say 100 percent, 60, 70. 70, sometimes 75 percent so i used to feel okay i mean uh, considering the amount of time i have put in the preparation it's fair enough i can't expect super good numbers Yeah, amazing. I I think you were very strategic in that way because you want 50% end of day. I right? don't even want 70%, but you have managed to score more than that. But yeah, I mean, that, that strategic approach is very good, you know, where your basics are strong, that you just layer it very quickly uh, with the most important facts and revise them enough number of Yes. times that you don't forget and make those, you know, silly mistakes. So... Yes. Amazing. Uh, how was the exam day for you? Uh, when you came out, were you confident that you will clear it? Yeah, I was uh, confident that I will pass. I mean, I was not, I, I told my parents that uh, I'll be qualifying for sure, but I didn't want to give them false hopes that I'll be having good scores or something <laughs> because I myself didn't have that much belief. Like my friends, they, they I don't know why they used to hype me up. Hey, you will do this, you will score this much, you will score that much. I was like, no, I mean, how? I know I'm not uh, putting enough, but Let me uh, somehow... guess, were you your class topper in MBBS? Uh, I mean, uh, sometimes Super. I used to be, yeah, <laughs> yeah. sometimes, yeah. not uh, not every time, but yeah, sometimes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. luckily it used to happen. I can understand how, you know, you have scored so well. It's basically a very strong MBBS uh, and, and you've been a consistent. I, I will uh, tell you your <laughs> story. You've been consistent and that's what, you know, ultimately matters that if you have strong basics, done a good MBBS, it all adds up in the end. No effort, no knowledge goes to waste, right? So those Yes, of you who yes. are who are juniors right now you know that's what your advice would be that you know do your mbbs well it's ultimately that that you have to revise very quickly in your internship and you are done Actually, that's what I also realized during the exam only. I mean, uh, if I am scoring 200 questions, 202, it isn't like uh, these 202 marks were from my last three month preparation. I mean, uh, if uh, if anybody is expecting that um, he has not uh, done his MBBS in a good way and sits for three months and st uh, starts BTR and it's done. Mm -hmm. uh it's uh, <laughs> i'll be lying it's it's not possible that way i mean i uh, f for the main videos usually concept used to be like we'll play it at 1.5x 1.7x try to cover this much so what i did initially i calculated how much the btr is so it was around 80 hours i was like oh 80 hours three hours a day it's done <laughs> <laughs> and then once I when started, uh, 1.5 hours a day used to be, I mean, I used to consider it an achievement. Oh, I have done 1.5 hours today. So that way it, it is super dense, super dense. Like, and, and the thing I, I, I admire the most about BTR is like every clinical correlation is at one point. Like, uh, you don't need to shuffle between the subjects. So you will be, uh, if something is related, you will be reminded there only, okay, this is this. some these points can be linked to this so integration is i think what uh, what stands out in um, btr and what helped me because my personal approach also used to be like that only during uh, during my ug days i used to watch uh, dr najib lectures i mean whenever somebody used to listen that i watched dr najib they say what 
uh, how this is i mean uh, their looks were <laughs> so so weird looks but then um i think he he made uh, his he's i can't i mean uh, i have to give credit to him he made me fell i mean fall in love with medicine he because once once you try to look at things conceptually and and they 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 connect the dots it feels it feels so good like you are able to connect something something is happening oh, like cardiac cycle <laughs> i will say cardiac cycle first time when i studied it, it was like what's happening here And once, uh, once I I watched uh, Doctor Najib's lecture, I was like in heart. I was like you know swimming from this chamber to that chamber. So it felt it felt so good, and that's I guess that what made me stick to things. Absolutely, that's the joy of learning, right? Uh, and and once you find that joy and you start understanding things, you don't have to memorize stuff. That's the yes, whole exactly. Point in the end, yeah. All I mean, right. I think uh, BTR has been uh, mis uh, misphrased that it's a burrito, a ratto. It's a ratto thing. Okay. It's not a ratto yeah. thing. Yeah. You can't ratify yeah. BTR. That's, that's what now I have come to realize. It's burrito, a ratto because uh, you have to do burrito, a ratto. You have to ratna nahi hai usko. You have to understand it, right? In the end, yeah. that's what it is. So yeah, I mean, it's a sign that you've read it well, and I'm very happy uh, that you know you got the result that you really deserved. So congratulations, and you know, um, enjoy. And I, I, are you gonna attempt I N I and NEET PG? Uh, yes, uh, certainly. But I have to complete my internship first now. So I am uh, targeting for the upcoming I N I set in November. I'll be eligible for November one. Yeah. So yeah, I'm. I'm. I mean, that's certainly in consideration. So. All right. All the best, and hopefully we'll meet for one more interview then. Yes, hopefully. I'm. I'm optimistic. <laughs> there's. There's. Uh, there's no harm in trying. So. Yeah. yeah why not? Yeah. All the best. Thank Bye. you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.